Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red. This is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. Stick around because I've got an unboxing for you today. The TCL 30Z, brand new and available at Cricut Wireless. So stay here and check it out. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe and ring that bell. Get all the notifications for the new videos. Okay, so today's video is going to be a quick, short and sweet unboxing of the TCL 30Z. We're going to open it up, take a look at it, see what it's all about. We're not going to get too deep into the settings and the details of it today. So, if you want to check this phone out further, contact your local retailer for pricing and availability. The specs will be at the end of this video, so stick around for those. And this video is sponsored by The Programmer Coach, so check them out too. There's a link down in the description, and we'll have a word for them right after the video. All right, so let's check out the TCL 30Z. We have the TCL 30Z, an Android smartphone with 6.1 inch HD plus display powered by NXT Vision, 8 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front camera, facial recognition for added security and convenience, large 3000 milliamp per hour battery provides 20 hours of talk time, quad core processing power and 4G LTE speed. Let's get it out of the box. All right, inside we have volume one of stuff people don't read. The device. The power cord. Let's see what kind of power cord we've got here. We have, oh wow, micro. USB. Yeah, that is. That's a micro USB. There. And the charging block. And that 3000 milliamp per hour battery. So, for all you fans of a removable battery, there you go. And we have the SIM card that comes with every Cricut branded device. Let's pop the back off and get the battery inserted. There is a notch. A lot of people have a hard time finding how, figuring out how to get the back off. There's a little notch right down here. There you go. Your SIM card will insert right here. Your memory or your SD card will insert here. On the back of the phone, you've got your single camera here with a flash, some branding, a nice little Cricut Tramp stamp, and your power key and volume rocker. I can't get that in there for you. And as you'll know, since it's a removable back, there's no SIM tray, dual bottom firing speakers, your micro unit, your micro charging port there on the top a noise canceling mic and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front we have your camera and tucked in nice and neat up here is your top speaker that's going to be your main speaker let's power it up all right so we are set up now we will be completing the second setup. All right, so we are all set up. Now there is a second setup, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. 
what we are going to be doing is taking a quick tour of this phone. Now you can see if you're familiar with TCL, it's not the stock Android icons, buttons, and layouts, which I like that. It's very refreshing. Everything kind of gets old after a while, you know? So no, there's not a SIM card in it. Yes, we know about Google Play Protect. Set up in progress, which means I got about halfway through. I'm not putting a Google account on there and it's going to make me do it. So I'm not doing it right now. Uh, I will do that later. So, can't get rid of that. It's a real pain. But, let's just keep going. What I'm going to do is check out all those menu options. You can edit that just by hitting the pen. Opening up the settings. Let's see if I can brighten that screen. Right there. That is going to brighten that screen. Maybe help y'all see things a little better. So connections as you can see NFC is not going to be available this is a very very basic phone y'all so don't expect too much this is for your basic phone user it is not for a heavy user it's it, it's a basic phone calling texting basic use basic browsing that sort of thing a uh, home screen and lock screen this is everything available there you can make you know the fonts bigger and stuff if you have you know this font for your parents or whatever next vision visual enhancement reading mode and screen color that is going to be available for you you can see all of that is here so we're just going to go ahead and turn that on see how it looks uh, sound and vibration notifications Mute notifications, mini notifications, app icon badges. You can control those from right there. Buttons and gestures. You can change it over to gesture navigation if you so choose. Advanced features like screen recorder and smart app recommendations. I don't like smart app. It's uh, this stuff down here where it automatically inserts another app once you take one off the screen. Don't like that. Security and biometric space unlock is available. Uh, storage we're looking at... System apps is about 12 gigs, and you've got a total of 32, so it's a very light system uh, in comparison to, say, Samsung, which is a, a pretty heavy system. So that's nice. You got lots of space. You know, again, this is not for a heavy user. This is a good starter phone for your kids or um, just a basic phone, like for your parents or for people that are just using a phone for basic use. To check your apps and again you're going to want to remove bloatware as soon as you get your phone and get your account on there turn off your chrome notifications because those can be really pesky and get you kind of in a, an awkward situation sometimes especially if you got kids that might use your phone but once you get your google account on there then that bloatware is going to start coming in one way to kind of lessen it is disable mobile services and that'll also free up some RAM and some storage and use less data if you're on a limited data plan. So that's what we got. And turn off the scoop. That thing gets really, really annoying. It's a, it's a nuisance really. So, but there you go. That's the basics of this phone. Let's check the system about phone. And you're going to get a pretty comprehensive look at your specs right here. And again, the full specs for this phone are at the end of the video. You can see it's running Android 12, TCL UI version 4. It's got the Helio A22, 3000 milliamp per hour battery. Uh, the display is 720 by 1560 and you've got your camera specs right there and the storage 32 3 gigs of RAM oh, there you go and that's really all we're gonna get into today we're gonna take a quick super fast look at this camera and see if we got anything interesting going on here so auto which is just point and shoot video portrait mode, and panoramic. Basic stuff. Basic camera for a basic phone. This is not a phone for heavy use. This is not a phone for a gamer. This is a basic phone for basic use. I feel like this will be a reliable phone. I feel like this will be a, a good phone to just, you know, get for maybe your older 
parents, grandparents in your life, aunts, uncles, whatever. Your kids, if you don't want them being stuck to their phones all the time, but you want to be able to keep in touch with them. This is not for heavy social media. This is not gonna have the best camera. This is a basic phone for basic use and I feel like this is gonna be a very reliable phone for that. Tell me what you think. Specs are at the end. Check with your local retailer for pricing at the end availability. This video is sponsored by The Programmer Coach. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around for those specs and a word from the sponsors. Thank you so much. I'm Lady Red, and I'll totally see you in the next video. Hey, quick question for you. Do you like going to work every day? doing what you're doing right now, forever. If not, I'd like to share with you a little about the sponsor of this video, The Programmer Coach. The Programmer Coach is an online coding program that helps people who are serious about earning a higher salary learn how to code and get a job as software developers. The program is unique in that it te they teach you how to code by doing, by practicing, and becoming highly competent in coding. No boring teachers, no watching endless videos, and no boring labs. Just enough knowledge to get started. And then practice, practice, practice. Plus, they provide you with coaches to help you whenever you run into any issues. And at the end of their program, they will work with you until you land a job. That's right, and you won't pay the bulk of your tuition until you actually land a job as a software developer. And the best part, the program is affordable and accessible for anyone and everyone. Sound good? To learn more, go to becomeaprogrammer.com right now. Once again, that's becomeaprogrammer.com.